uh, hi everyone and welcome back so in the previous video videos we have done the config service and database module service database modules now let's uh, keep this nest nest js aside and let's take a look on to typo rm how we are going to define our entities and the database tables so we are using typo rm with the nest js typo rm provides all the different uh, type of schema definitions like there are different modules sqlize typo rm nest js all these things but typo rm is little ahead in terms of typescript support so we are using typo rm here so typo rm entities we have already created in the src entities we have created some dummy entities like user post and comments now what we will do is we will introduce typo rm so we have already defined a few things in package.json which is typo rm nestjs typo rm and we will be using typo rm cli to create a migrations and entities so first we are what we are doing we are going to define the typescript entities and based on that we will create our tables this is the reverse engineering we are defining our entities in the like we have defined that in the previous video now using typo rm cli npm run db sync we are going to create the entities from these uh, typescript files okay so what you can do is first you have to install typo rm and then just add these scripts in your package.json which is uh, db create db migrate and db sync first we will use npm run db sync so we already have our container running we can just do npm run uh, db sync db sync will do will do schema sync and db migrate okay so i have already tried running this once so this is the but before doing all these things what we need is a type orm config.ts type orm config is a central point for type orm cli to tell this okay where is the migration cap where are the entities what is the database configuration username password db host port all this information this orm config.ts is going to provide to the type orm okay when you run type orm uh, npm run db sync db migrate db create db update db drop all these things which are related to the migration of type orm cli will take a look on orm config.ts okay so we have already know that this is our env.ts what we are doing is we are loading this environment using dot env and then all these attributes we have specified with the same names which we have in the env and now this is the entities definition entities we have in the src entities and migration in future we are going to have which i kept here okay so what i'm doing is i'm inside a container npm run db sync so what db sync will do db sync will check do we have any change in the tables otherwise it will create those entities so we have these many entities post user comments and it will create that in the mysql so you can see what it is running npm run db sync it is actually running npm run type rm cli type orm cli is using this ts node and it is using orm config.ts as an input argument and then it is doing schema sync and then migrate we don't have any migrations right now so there is no point of running this so here we can you can see we have created these tables uh, the tables are i mean first we have already created these tables here so like comment entity we have created post entity and user entity so these tables we are able to create and uh, you can see if you wanted to specify the name of this entities comment then you can do it something like this otherwise it will create the entity based on the class name post and and let me run this again what change you will see it's just a little time taking but now it will see okay i need to create the table names like this so it should do something either alter the table or drop the table and create a new tables for us with the same definition this is our orm config and then you will see that in the mysql database and in the next video we will try to define the relationship between the post user and comment user will be writing comment so user user will be writing multiple posts so user and post will have a one to many relationship 
then we will have a individual post can have multiple comments right so post and comment will have one to many relationship and user and comment will have one to many relationship all these kind of relationship and you here you can see I think it does drop and here we can see it has created new tables comment post and user table so this is the the beauty of running the migrations seed job and DB sync utilities from type or we are able to create our data so let's see in the next video we will define the relationship between these entities and we will try to see the entity relationship di diagram for the user comment and post